welcome to Thalir. This is a place called Bud. This is budding forth for a new life and we are capuchins working for the renewal of the society and the church. My dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, welcome to Thalir Capuchin Online Ministries. This month, August, we are very happy to have amidst us Reverend Brother Cecil, a Capuchin friar from the Amalanai province of North Tamil Nadu, to give us the message and the blessings. Brother Cecil is a new priest fully involved in the Word of God preaching ministries. He is also concerned about serving the poor and the needy. He is a charismatic preacher. He gives recollection talks. He conducts red seats and he also gives Franciscan view of lifestyle. Here comes Reverend Brother Cecil YFM Cap. My dear friends, as a priest, if I ask you a question, who or what is the source of your contentment, what would be your answer? Maybe most of us will try to say this. Good food, own house, a costly car, a government job, a handsome boy, or a gorgeous girl to love or marry, etc. Maybe few will try their level best to say, God is the source of my contentment. Why do I use the word bread of contentment instead of life is? Whenever I receive the Eucharistic Lord, as a priest, I feel the contentment of life. I told my priestly friend that I wish to die after receiving the Lord. My friend said that St. Philip Neri too shares a similar experience. Today, we are faced with discontentment everywhere. We are discontented with persons, place, our own families, and our communities. We spread causism and pessimism in our thoughts, words, and deeds easily. We easily grumble even for little inconvenience and find fault with others. We come across such characteristics in the first reading, Yahweh listened to them with compassion and gave them manna. A discontented life is unworthy of living, a quote which can be reflected from today's liturgical readings. The first reading will reflect the Israelites' hearts were restless and discontented for they were satisfied in living a slavery life in Egypt than living under the providential care of God in the desert where contentment is promised. In the wilderness, when they discovered a potentially devastating threat, they set off murmuring. Acknowledging their weakness and discontented heart, God rained manna from heaven but subjected it to time and space. They ate the manna for 40 years until they came to the inhabited land. Exodus 16.35 The restriction for collecting the manna is to remind us to accept our utter dependence on God, providential care and trust that He will always provide our physical need. The nature of limitedness of manna was to magnify the real life-giving eternal manna, the Eucharist, the bread of life given by the Son of God, our Lord Jesus Christ. The psalmist, being in a state of gratitude, is concerned to pass on the miracle, miraculous act of God in the wilderness. Therefore, he informs the Israelites to live in a state of spiritual contentment so that the future generation may pay heed to it. He realizes that the manna which their forefathers consumed was the bread of angels. In the second reading, St. Paul reminds us that we must leave behind our hold self-deception and desires and live according to the likeness of God in which we are made. In Matthew 5.48, our Lord demands us to be perfect as the Heavenly Father is perfect. In Tamil version, the word perfect is understood as contentment. 
the levitical command is to be holy as the heavenly father is holy leviticus 19:2 for st paul a life of satisfaction or contentment is the outcome of a transformed life in christ last sunday as the narration of the multiplication of bread goes the whole crowd was content for their bellies were filled to the brim a bread that satisfied them temporarily they were ignorant that it was the bread that will perish according to the nature of the body in today's gospel jesus insists on the imperishable nature of the bread which the son of god himself will give them there was a strong rabbinic belief that the messiah would come again to provide them manna as was in the time of moses but jesus clearly says that the manna rained in the wandering land was not the bread of god but was only a symbol therefore it can only satisfy the physical hunger and cannot meet the demands of spiritual hunger the real contentment of life can be experienced only by nourishing ourselves by the bread of life when jesus said that he is the bread of life it means he is the source of contentment the real contentment is he it is not the experience of saints but many are having this similar encounter with our eucharistic lord the real contentment of life is jesus christ who reveals himself in the eucharist today we need to realize that we are not only physical beings but also spiritual beings most of the time we pay heed to the demands of the flesh than having concern to the spiritual need of ourselves as a result of it we accumulate a lot of troubles and unsolved problems in our life if you ask a poor whether he is content in his life the answer would be no the same will be the answer of a rich therefore the answer would be that contentment of life is not in the material accumulation but rather in our relationship with god and others dear brothers and sisters jesus calls for the life giving bread that is he himself is many people throng to shrines like lourdes fatima or velankani for obtaining miracles some people go to the meetings of evangelical groups for healing one of such leading group is that of mr benihin the tele evangelist he himself once said that the highest number of miracles is happening not in prayer meeting but in the catholic church in front of the eucharistic lord in the tabernacle yes friends all that we need today is to get into the powerful presence of the eucharistic lord the center of our faith let us pray for our personal issues family concerns and social problems may the eucharistic lord heal us and strengthen us to move ahead in deep faith let us ask these questions to us what two dominant issues you want to take to the eucharistic lord to get solved second how can you spread the power of the eucharist in your family prayer lord jesus christ you are the source of my joy and fulfillment of my life aid me to seek you more and more especially your presence in the eucharist has saint philip neri encountered you the life giving bread and experienced the contentment of life in you help me to find the contentment of life in you and not in the perishable things help me to be content in what i have and not craving for that which you have not granted for me i ask this prayer in your precious name my lord and god jesus christ amen